and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jund Reanimate, which is going to be our second deck here on our Throwback Thursday stream. So what this is about and what I'm going to be doing here on Thursdays going towards rotation is I'm going to be building decks around cards, specifically rares and mythics that rotate out of standard um, and ones that have not really seen hardly any standard play and give them a little little light of day here, you know, give them a little bit of love. So what, the card that we have here today is Rowdy Crew. As you see, we got four Rowdy Crews in here. Rowdy Crew was always a pretty cool card that, you know, just never really, never really caught on. You know, it, it uh, um, just kind of got out, outclassed by a lot of other things. But, you know, I want to play some Rowdy Crews. So that's what we're doing here today. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube and you have suggestions for other rares and mythics that are going to be rotating out that you'd like to be see, that you'd like to see me play on these Thursday streams, uh, let me know in the comments there. What's up, Sunder Army? Welcome back. I already think next next Thursday, I think I'm going to be building decks around Admiral Becca Brass, Muldratha, and Arcades, the three mana, um, the three color mythics there. Um, <clears throat> but besides that, you know, other Thursdays, this will be doing for the next, you know, six Thursdays or so that we're streaming. Um, so far, uh, Mono Black Aggro was a huge success there with Ruin Raider and um, Dreadshade. If you missed that one, make sure you check that video out. But I'm not expecting these decks to be amazing. You know, I'm not expecting these to be uh, to pick up a whole lot of wins, even though we did the last one. Um, and that's that's okay, even if we don't win a lot of games. We're going to hopefully play some of these uh, rares that didn't get some love. Next up, we're going to have Demir Mill uh, that we're going to have Patient Rebuilding in that one. Um, but anyway, here we go. So let's let's talk about this deck here. There's two ways to build a Rowdy Crew deck. It was either this way of like focusing on the graveyard with like the discard part of Phil in the graveyard and trying to bring stuff back. Or the other way I was thinking about going was just like a mono-red mid-range deck with um of course with cavalier rowdy crew um and then also the glint horn buccaneer uh that whenever we, whenever you discard cards it deals one damage to each opponent and so like curving this card into rowdy crew um you know you discard two cards at random you know deal a couple damage to the opponent let's think about going that way also and maybe maybe on a different thursday maybe we, we build um that kind of deck there and, you know, that'd be with, like, Chain Whirler and Rekindling Phoenix and um, Skargon Hellkite and, and that kind of stuff. Um, maybe have, like, the four Blood Crypts and four uh, Dragon Skull Summit still in there to be able to play Remati Reveler um, and kind of go more on the discard theme. But I kind of, but I, I also just wanted to play Blood for Bones, you know, so uh, that's, that's why we're going this way this time. We got a Blood for Bones deck here. Don't have very much removal. I'm playing a couple Chupacabras, a couple Cavalier of Knights for, like, my removal here. So against uh, other decks that are faster than us that have threats that are better than our threats, like if we're not having good profitable blocks, we're going to struggle. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, the goal of the deck is to just fill the graveyard. We have the one Stitcher Supplier, because Stitcher Supplier is not really that good of a card. You know, like, I'd start with four here, but then when trimming stuff down, eventually just trimmed it down to one. It's not a very good card, but it does it does uh, fill your graveyard up a little bit, and it's a good card to sacrifice for Blood for Bones. But it's not something that you, you don't want to draw, like, three Stitcher Suppliers. Like, if you do, you're just going to lose. Um, but we're going to have, you know, so that'll fill the graveyard, so we'll Glow Spore Shaman. And then Branch Walker, Jade Light can explore over some creatures, Remati Reveler gets to discard there as well so we're putting stuff in the graveyard with with all those things and uh then we're going to going to just kind of play blood for bones for value we're not getting something special you know like we're not we're not playing like dracky south or anything like that but we just have um some some uh creatures like rowdy crew cavalier of flame cavalier of night embodiment of agonies that are all just pretty good targets embodiment of agonies um seems pretty interesting in this deck because, yeah, if we're, if we're filling our graveyard with a whole bunch of different cards, this could be a very large flying death touch creature. So that's, that seems pretty interesting. And also, it's a three drop. So when Cavalier of Night dies, we could bring back Embodiment of Agonies. That could be really sweet. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to try that out there. 
Um, then we got two two cool cards here. We got Doom Whisper and Bantu, which are both kind of combo cards. You know, Doom Whisper can like go find the Blood for Bones for us, but it can really fill the graveyard with a whole bunch of lands. Like Cavalier of Flames, of course. Uh, I guess if you don't know about this one, whenever it dies, it deals X damage to the opponent, where X is the number of lands you control in your graveyard. Not you control, but lands you have in your graveyard. So Doom Whisper can put a whole bunch of lands in the graveyard, and also Bantu. Um, Bantu is just a combo with Cavalier of Flames. Like if you have Cavalier of Flames and a bunch of lands in play, you play Bantu, you sack your Cavalier of Flames, and you sack all of your lands, and you do damage equal to all those lands plus any other lands you had in your graveyard too. So that that seems like that's a pretty cool combo that we will have in here. All right, enough talking about the deck. Let's get to playing some Magic. So with these Throwback Thursday decks, we're going to run them through a league, see how far we can get. We got to the five wins with Mono Black Aggro. We'll see if we can get it done again here with Jund Reanimate. I'm calling this Reanimate, it's not like a, a, a hyper-focused Reanimate deck. You know, we have the Blood for Bones. It's just, I didn't really want to call it like Jund Midrange. You know, I didn't really want to call it that. Uh, you know, it's not really Jund Aggro. Um, just didn't really have like a great name for it, so just call it Jund Reanimate. Thought about Jund Crew, you know, for Rowdy Crew. Jund Crew. The Jund Crew. But, just going Jund Reanimate. Jund Jank. <laughs> yeah, you go Jund Jank. All right, well, we do have Tapland Tribal over here, unfortunately, but pretty decent-looking hand, so I wasn't going to cut it. Rowdy Jund? That's not bad. That's not bad. Rowdy Jund. Jund Value Town. Jund Gates. <laughs> Definitely did seem like we're playing a gate deck here. Is this thing a wizard? It is, so this is probably wizards. Alright, we're going to have Rowdy, Rowdy Crew next turn. I don't really want to discard Cavalier Flames, but we do have Blood for Bones. If we, like, discard Cavalier and Blood for Bones, that'll be bad. So how Rowdy Crew works is you draw three cards, and then you discard two cards at random. And if they're the same type. So we have we have lots of, lots of creatures in here. So, you know, if we discard two creatures, or if we discard two lands, or two sorceries. We don't have very many sorceries, but those are the only types we have. So we don't have very many different types. No. Too bad. But then it turns into a 5-5. Five five. We can do this together. We can do this together. So this kind of looks like this is blue red elementals now. Punch and you're going to get burned. <laughs> Has a cool animation there. The rowdy crew. Well, good news is we discarded two of the same type. Bad news is we discarded our two creatures. <laughs> I would have liked to discard two lands. But uh, it's all good. We'll get Cavalier of Flames back, and then we can discard all these lands and draw a bunch more cards. How does it work in Paper Magic? Usually what you do is you you, you kind of, you know, face down, you, like, shuffle up your cards and put them out on the table, like lie them out on the table, and then you and your opponent like name them like there's this is card number one through card number whatever, and then your opponent rolls dice, and you know if it rolls on like a one, then you choose the the card that's the one, and and so on. So you just you roll dice to you put them face down and roll dice. Even a typhoon begins with a single raindrop. Yeah, I've been sleeping on a rowdy crew the whole time. It's four mana five five with card advantage. Five five trampler. That's pretty good. Oh, Doesn't get much better than that. Ah, so it is Teamer. Find your fires of passion. Teamer Elementals. 
All right, so let's kill Mu Yanling. My search continues elsewhere. All right, so Cavalier comes in. Oh yeah, Blood for Bones puts another creature into our hand. I just actually completely forgot about that whole part of Blood for Bones <laughs> this whole time. I was just thinking about the put something into play. Sweet. Put a creature back in our hand. Doesn't really matter. We'll take this one. All right, how many cards do you like to discard? I like to discard this one, this one, this one, this one. And heck, why not? Let's just discard those two. New cards. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, we'll play you. That was sub number 10. That deserves some extra hype in there. Getting to a sub goal. Thanks, everybody. And, of course, Rise Alive. Thank you so much there. Hey, Golo. Welcome to the channel from Poland. Get out of my way. Greetings. I'm burning up here. So, yes, yeah, so that's pretty sweet. Cavalier Flames. We have that many lands. Five lands. Of course, this Chandra can just exile it, though. So, Embodiment of Agonies is going to be a 6-6 six, six <laughs> Death Touch right Goodbye. now. 6-6 six, six is pretty big. Fire spreads fast with help. Ooh. Okay. Well, I need to kill the Awakened Inferno. Fizzled out. I'm playing another one of these. Alright, we'll discard you and you and you. Um... I'll keep the other two. Yeah, Glispore Shaman's good. It, you know, it puts cards in our graveyard, which is good for a lot of different things in our deck. And it can help us fix our mana with, like, the triple black, triple red, stuff like that. Hopefully not Lava Coil. I could have got got by Lava Coil. That was just a choice I decided to make there with that block. Consider this bridge burned. So I can either play Doom Whisperer. Do a whole bunch of surveilling and stuff. Or I can just get this thing in play. Let's get this thing in play. Oh, I should have played the Glowspore Shaman first. Ugh. Yeah, this thing would have been bigger. What am I doing? So that would have been one. Two. Would have got an extra two counters. Dang, it would have been a nine-nine. I would have played Glowspore first. Would have been 9 9. Forgot. Embodiment doesn't change. It just enters with counters. It's not something that is fluid and changes. Lotus Field could be decent in the deck. Because, yeah, it does. It does, you know, fix your mana and does put lands in your graveyard. That is true. Yeah. 9-9 nine, nine flying death touch for 3 mana? Well, I messed it up. I only made it a 7-7 seven, seven flying death touch for 3 no mana, but that's still pretty good. No, so I think it would have got... Yeah, the Blood for Bones. I wasn't counting the Blood for Bones, but the, the one Jade Light Ranger and the, the other embodiment that we milled over, like both of those would have grown it. The Blood for Bones would not have grown it, though. All right, so we're playing against Chandra Tribal over here. 
And then if I was if I was playing field of the if I was playing Lotus Field, like maybe instead of this Bloodfell Caves, I should have one Lotus Field in here. Because I wanted an extra land that adds red and black mana because of all these things. So like I wanted an extra red and an extra black. But if it's a Lotus Field, then whenever we bring in our Blood Suns, it shuts off. Like the Lotus Field just comes into play untapped. Uh, it doesn't really look like we have much of a sideboard, I guess. Bedevil. This could be a Bedevil matchup. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe just cut Izerath. Izerath's kind of cool, though, but everything in our deck's pretty cool. I think I want to keep the removal, like, Choops and Cavalier in with them playing Risen Reef. In fact, maybe I should be playing Plague Mare for Risen Reef. It's not not a bad idea. All right, we'll take out Izerath and I'll just cut the Stitcher Supplier. Yeah, they're a slower deck. So I think I think against the slower deck, we don't need to like fill our graveyard immediately. Uh, no, mono black aggro is not up yet. I just started. You know, we just just got done with it. It's probably about forty minutes or so of uploading still. All right. So whenever we play this league, y'all keep in mind with the Bloodfell Caverns. If that card would be better as Lotus Field or not. So I'm thinking ditch Cavalier Flames and then Blood for Bones back Cavalier Flames. That's what I'm thinking. And just like discard my whole hand, basically. The Elvish Rejuvenator. Elvish Rejuvenator is definitely an option instead of Jade Light, but I don't like Jade Light. Like against removal heavy decks, Jade Light's pretty great. Get rid of the land. Definitely one embodiment. Um, the Jade Light. Cavalier of Night? Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. Cavalier of Night's pretty good. Uh, this is the problem when you like your cards. What if we just get rid of everything? That's probably a bad idea. Because the problem, I guess, is we could we could just draw a bunch of lands, and then we'll feel bad. Yeah, I can keep one agony, so it's a three three currently. Oh, oh! you're talking about Elvish Reclaimer, the one that gets plus two, plus two, and there's three lands in your graveyard. Does it really find you lands, though? It just, it's, yeah, you can sacrifice a land and get another, and put another land into play with it, right? But it is definitely good later, or like, I don't know. Like, what's in the deck that I'd rather have than that? Or, like, that I'd rather have that than? I'm not sure. What is that attack? What is that attack? I 
What's my best play against Big Chandra? I think that's what I'm trying to figure out here. What's my best what's my best play against Big Chandra for next turn? I guess it's Doom Whisper is probably my best play against Big Chandra. I'm gonna get that thing out of here, gonna attack. So yeah, I did not make my best play against Big Chandra. Doom Whisper is the best play there. I made my best play for attacking with Cavalier Flame. So have one land in the graveyard right now. All right, what you got, opponent? If Cavalier of Night dies, we'll get Embodiment of Agonies back. If they double block Cavalier of Flame to kill that, I can go put some lands in my graveyard here. Next turn, I want, you know, like we'll have like Cavalier plus Haste or like Embodiment with Haste. They're just taking that. Wow. They're not even like having their 1 1 block the 6 5 and then gaining life and putting a counter on that. I just want to take six. They're in a tough spot. Let's see what they do. What do they got? Teamer. Kind of budget elemental creature. Okay. Okay. Let's get some more things in the graveyard first for this embodiment of agonies. Rowdy crew in a land. Yep. Get those in there. Turn that up to five. Um, that's another rowdy crew in a land. Still stays five. Yeah, definitely glow spore shaman. That puts me to fifteen. I can go down to thirteen. Uh, blood for bones is pretty cool though. All right, we'll keep that one. Oh yeah, we're gonna gain. The, yeah, we gain the four life back here anyway. All right, six six. Seven seven. What? Just trade the four five for a seven seven. <laughs> oh, we gotta kill that four five life linker. I wanna face the seven seven flying death toucher instead. Yeah, I know it counts all cards. I know. It it does count itself when you reanimate it too though. So like, that's why it's currently that's why it says it's currently six, but this came in as seven, is because it does count itself. So it counted the one BB that was in the graveyard at the time, but now one BB is not in the graveyard. I was saying six before because I I didn't count the Cavalier of Night. It also counts the Cavalier of Night. 
What's up, Arx Jelly? What's that resub? We get some hype in the chat. Going towards our second sub goal. I should mark down that we hit one sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. Hit one today. We'll see if we get to two. Where are we at? So that is sub goal number eight out of 20. So we're almost halfway, we're getting there. So opponent's at nine. How many lands I've got in here? Not enough. I can tell you that. I mean, I I probably just attack and kill him. I want to do something cooler than that. I guess we'll just play another Cavalier Flame. No, we haven't played this before. I was going to do like the whole give it haste thing and attack out. All right. Jund Reanimator. We played a, a similar Jund deck at the like very first day of M20 kind of thing. But I uh, kind of built built this kind of off that and updated it a lot and and uh, played playing a bunch of rowdy crews yeah yucky sound glitch there I think we went 1-2 with the original deck, but like I said, it was like the very first day of M20. It was a donation deck. It, it wasn't one that I built. It was one that, a, that somebody donated for. Um, I think we went 1-2 with it. All right, well, we need to get lands. So Mountain Mobilized District is kind of telling me maybe like Jeskai Control? Maybe just Big Red? I think I want to keep like these revelers and crew and stuff. Let's get rid of. I mean, I could get rid of the agonies and try to get it back with cavalier, but the cavalier costs triple black. All right, I'll get rid of agonies. Do 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 do. Thing Cavalier Knight will bring back the agony whenever it dies. Yeah, lo so Lotus Field would, if we had Lotus Field here, we would sack these two. And it'd be fine, right? Like it would just be, it wouldn't be incredible, but it'd be fine. I probably want second green over, yeah, we already have three black and three red playing this. So let's just shock this thing in for the crew. All right, let's draw three. Discard two lands. It's a 5-5. Five five. Wow, what a card. Yeah, nice red damage spells. We turned two lands into some other good cards. Rowdy crew. 
Man, this Throwback Thursday stream has started off awesome. Mono Black Aggro. Um, those cards have looked really good. The Rowdy Crew has looked really good here today. All right, ate a couple burn spells. We'll play Doom. We'll get Doom Whisper and play. Mist Tickles. Yeah, how dare they coil the crew? Could be pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's a five, five right now. Just a 4-4? Four, four. One, two, three, four, five. How is it not five? There's five different ones here. Oh, it doesn't count the lands. The lands don't count. Okay, lands don't count. All right. Learn something today. Lands don't count. No printed CMC. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. I need to keep three black and three red. So we need to keep. So let's get let's get rid of a woodland cemetery and a stomping ground. Go down to four lands, but we'll draw two cards. Missed a pot. They missed a spot to put a counter on the blast down there. Anyone need a fire started? No. Too bad. Yes. Now Agony's dies to coil. Ugh. Wanted to play it as a five. That five, scene, like at least as a five-five, but oh well. What's up, Cult Wolf? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. You are amazing. Thanks for keeping that going for five months. So much time. Come on, Chandra, remember that spell. Thank you so much. All right, Cavalier of Flames. Let's discard Choop, Flame. Maybe discard Knight also. Definitely Choop and Flame. No, let's keep Flame. Actually, let's just keep discarding. Let's go. Let's go Choop at night. I am not happy right now. Love it. Everybody's getting their hype boats in for for our resub there. Oh thanks, Cult Wolf. Glad you're loving the bruise. I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's gonna be fun. Will it? Will it be fun? Um, I 
Could have Blood for Bones plus Haste, but that means I would have had to sack Bantu. Given up on you. Not trusting that. Next turn we can go just cast embodiment and give it haste. Get out of my way. I'll burn it up here. Yeah, it's like both of our matchups have been kind of like the Chandra Tribal. Um, we played against like elementals with a bunch of Chandras last time. Not exactly Chandra tribal. So get Bedevil in here and cut Choop. Maybe bring another Find Finality in also. I guess maybe some Rex Ages. That yeah, maybe get some Rex Ages. Blow up that uh, whatever it's called. The Regulator. No, Cavalier Thorns is not too weak. I just I didn't have more. I didn't have room for more five drops, and I wanted to play all these five drops. But no, Cavalier Thorns is, would be good for this deck too. It's the thing you can only play sixty cards. There's a lot of good cards that I'm not playing in here that I would like to. All right, so Supplier out. And just one find. Now we'll play two find, one Rex Age. There you go. How did Mono Black Aggro go five one? Because it's it's sweet. The three drops really carried. Hmm. Slow hand here. We need to draw a land, and then we play Jade Light that hits more land drops. It gets to, like, Rowdy Crew. That's fine. It's okay to have a slow hand against our opponent here. But yeah, Ruin Raider. Rotting Regisaur. And Dreadshade were all very good. Yeah, and, and our one drops were, were good too. Not the Evan Legion, Gutter Bones, the, the Vampire, the Dire Moon being Death Touch was really nice. Our, the, the funny thing was our one loss was to a different like mono, mono black vampires. <laughs> that was our one loss. Our first match. They have Cavalier of Flames. Cavalier of Flame. That card's awesome. Pyromancy puts a little sizzle in my step. Black probably is the best color in standard right now. You have to choose one color. It's a good choice. Alright, the Rowdy Crew. Four mana, five five with card advantage. Trample. What are you looking at? Four four.
this magic thing. Here, have some of that magic. Regulator with novice pyromancer here. All this mana is pretty awesome. We'll see what they have. Really hope it's not Big Chandra. Well then. Anyone Big Chandra's kind of tough to beat. Is getting sizzled. Makes them Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Hmm. Does it to the each opponent and each planeswalker they control. That's a good draw. Good draw. You can do this and discard two lands. So if Cavalier of Flames dies, at least all their stuff takes two right now. We only got two lands out of our nine cards in there. Time for sparks to fly. Ooh, hot, 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 hot! All right, we're getting an emblem. What would I want a Blood for Bones back? If I go Glow Spore Shaman, Let's Blood for Bones. Hope it's not too hot for you. Let's bring back Cavalier. Right, we get two emblems. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I could go Glow Spore Shaman and then just cast Agonies also. I think I want a Blood for Bone. Sack this. Cavalier Knight's a good card to have. Yeah, I'm kind of assuming that we're going to draw another land up after discarding these. For the haste next turn. Maybe not. Into that ley line thing. We begin. Let's get. Hope it's not too hot for you. Look to the skies. All right. Um. Well. Should have kept that land. They get to activate this mobilized district and block, though. But I'm like one land away from 
hitting them with lethal of going glow spore shaman then embodiment and then haste but they they do have the mobilized district though also I just go embodiment with haste. It's only 16 and they're at 18. Um, no, not enough lands for lethal from a dead cavalier. One, two, three, four, five. Five there. All right, so my hand was very slow on the draw, <clears throat> and Regulator beat us up pretty good. So let's let's get this extra Reclamation Sage in here. That Regulator really is awesome, and we did see Cavalier Flame as far as creatures are concerned. So I should probably keep Cavalier of Night. What wouldn't I want to keep? Maybe just Midnight Reaper. Three drop that dies of shock and everything. Okay. Hey, boo. Hey, Chris. Been doing really good. And... But no, not... Not really planning on going back to Paper Magic. Streaming full time here. So they're all pretty good. No, I don't. I don't right now. Um, I am planning on moving back to Texas sometime soon, probably this winter. And at that time, I'll have. I'll be closer. I'll be uh, with my friend group that EDH is and stuff, and then I'll be playing EDH. Then let's go with the Branch Walker first. Dig for dig towards this fourth land. Splash. Yeah, there's no state income tax in Texas. You need it's a big thing. Just let me study, focus. I just want to burn stuff already. Now things are getting heated. Put this one on the battlefield. Put this one back in my hand. Ugh, no, it's just a 3-3. No, we need to discard two creatures. I think I'm a decent enough pyromancer. Don't worry, I brought company. Let's burn brighter.
think. Did I ditch find finality too? Yeah, let's ditch everything. New cards. Walk it off, Chandra. Walk it off, Chandra. Walk it off. You're gonna have hasty rowdy crew next turn. Yeah, I pay taxes on donations. That's part of my income. So yeah, I have to pay taxes on it. Behold! Ooh. Your haste? I guess I'd rather play you than Rowdy Crew. Um, yeah, taxes are rough. So let's say they chump block Embodiment of Agonies. Is that even bad for me? No, not really. Come on, listen to them. I will consume you. This Embodiment of Agonies card has looked awesome. All right, they are chump blocking there. Keeping the novice pyromancer around. Um, so in that case, I'll get the extra land in here for Cavalier of Flame. Uh, activate ability. One one land in the graveyard. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flame. Get out of my way. Whore. So Cavalier of Flame, of course, is an elemental. So I think they were I think they were thinking to do three damage to the Cavalier of Flame and then do the other two with the novice pyromancer. But that doesn't work. So I could just activate Cavalier of Flame twice. But I want to play the Rowdy Crew. Look at that sweet animation. All right, two and zero. John to reanimate. Cavalier Flame OP, Rowdy Rowdy Crew OP, Embodiment of Agonies OP. Look at her, yeah, look at that Rowdy Crew. Swing swinging for lethal. Um, let's give it a try. I'm trying, I'm not trying. <laughs> Rowdy Crew makes you so happy. Yeah, dude, Rowdy Crew is cool. Yeah, the Cavalier Flame has been incredible. All right, perfect land there. Um... It's like I, I need another land to hit these other things, but we have the Jade Light also. I'm going to decline and hope this Jade Light hits me a couple more land drops because obviously having lands in the graveyard is valuable too with Cavalier Flame. Well, I hope I discard Stitcher Supplier. And I do not want to discard 
Cavalier of Flame. And Elvis Rejuvenator is such a beating. Well, Cavalier is the best one. Probably Cavalier of Thorns. They're all good, though. All right, just no Cavalier of Flame. Discard, any, discard all the other stuff. Ugh. I don't really want to discard those ones, either. All right, we may com we do have the combo. We got Cavalier of Flame Bantu combo. Where, you know, we can, like, sacrifice all of our lands and the Cavalier of Flame and do that much damage to them. Man, they had a really fast hand. It's their turn four already has two zombies. All right, I do want three, three black. So five, six, seven, seven lands right now. Playing this land would be land number eight. Jeez. I'm known for my excellent timing. <laughs> I'm just gonna have instant Let's speed scape this. shift. Also, in turn five. Gosh, what an incredible hand. I mean, I'm trying over here. Please don't have scape shift. Please don't have scape shift. So I'm, I'm one point away, right? Because they're at nine. I have two lands, then three, four, five, six, seven. So playing this land is eight. So I'm. As long as they don't have scape shift. No scape shift. Anything else is fine. Just go to your turn. Just go to your turn. Don't play anything. Go to your turn. It's really hard to decide whether or not to play that, huh? Turn five kill. What a hand.
Okay, so... Do we want Rex Age? I want these. We could have Finality. What, what all am I cutting, though? Yeah, they just go instant speed like that. It's really tough. Uh, no, I don't think I want to play Plague Mare or Masker Girl. Definitely not Plague Mare. Plague, Plague Mare doesn't kill stuff, but... I don't think I want Masker Girl. <laughs> yep, my deck can't beat that draw. My deck can't. I can't handle that game one. Shockland. Cool. Well, I should probably play Blood Sun before I play Rowdy Crew. We'll see if they have like a counter spell here. That'd be bad for me. Cool, not a counter spell, it's good. Hey, what's up, MTG Nerd Girl? Okay. So we're going to. We're going to Rowdy Crew here. I could, I mean, I could Cavalier Flame and discard a bunch of stuff, but let's let's Rowdy Crew and and kind of see what happens. All right, those two are gone. Got some more lands. It's nice to be able to discard lands to Cavalier Flame and look for spells. That's nice. All right, so opponents just just thin in their deck with the Scape Shift here. Going for the, the deck thinning. Not sure why Thornwood why Thornwood falls to stay in. I guess they wanted exactly three lands. But no land drops over there. Very good for us. We'll get rid of Choop also. And Cavalier Flame. Yeah. Let's get rid of everything. Because... 
we can sack the Cavalier of Flame to bring back the other Cavalier of Flame and get the damage trigger and stuff. Ah, uh, so they needed white mana also. So that's what they were probably trying to get their enchantment. Like their white enchantments and stuff. I could definitely see like Exelon's Binding being over here. I want to cut this Chupacabra, get a Rex Age. Um, cut a Cavalier Knight also. Let's get a couple of Rex Ages. I think our opponent could have Ixalan's Binding. Seen stronger looking hands. We have a plan here, though. We have a plan. Ixalan's binding is going to be so sad if we play Blood Sun and they they binding the Blood Sun and I don't get to play the other one. It'd be so sad. Favorite question from new com new customers new neighbor neighborhoods is you're gonna start coming every day <laughs> all right blast zone entering with zero counters I do like getting rid of like more Krasis if, if they have more Krasis. I know I have the Noxious Grasp, but I don't want them playing more Krasises. All right, they have Teferi and Deputy. Didn't target Blood Sun. I guess they don't want me to redraw a card, I guess. But in that case, I don't know why they didn't just tick up. Gotta get that thing out of here so we can play, you know, so we can play instance. Because obviously I can't play instance with that thing in play. So they do have a turn here that we could lose if they have, you know, if they draw, if they drew scape shift in one of those two cards with deputy then scape shift. I guess I didn't have to play my second blood sun. I could have just gone grasp and then hold up grasp. I guess that was a mistake to play the second blood sun. So yeah, I I made a mistake there. We'll see if that punishes us. I was thinking, get the Blood Sun in. They they take them. I kill their thing. I get to draw two more cards, and you know, draw the card. <sighs> Obviously, they drew the Scape Shift. All right, well that's that's my fault. I made I messed that up. Yep, got punished. One of those two cards was Scape Shift. I mean, how how likely is it that one of those two cards escape shift? Probably not very likely. I mean, they've already. Oh no, they didn't cast this. That was the last game they already cast escape shift. But and you know, I used the legions end because I wanted to get rid of more crises. Yep, I got punished. <laughs> well, blast zone doesn't do anything with blood sun. You don't have to worry about blast zone.
Right. I know they weren't going to play Deputy until they got Scape Shift, but I was just in, I didn't think that they were going to have a Scape Shift in those two cards we didn't know about. The one from Teferi and then the, their one draw step. I was hoping they just weren't going to have a, a Scape Shift in those. Alright, Legion's End. So I, I messed that up. I should have just held up my other Noxious Grasp. I I died if they did draw a Scape Shift in, in those two cards. They did. I died. So I messed that up really bad. Oh well. <laughs> Life would have definitely been... It's better to play the Blood Sun if they don't, you know, if they don't have the Scape Shift there, because then we get it out of our hand, draw a card, can still play, play other stuff the next turn, and have. <clears throat> and have the Noxious Grass available. Yeah, it's, it's okay. You can do the exclamation point punt. That's okay. Fortunately, I think this hand is actually Rowdy Crew. If we would have hit a land, I would have put it on top of the library, but we did not. <sighs> Still feel bad about the last game. That's the mono black deck is on the stream decker. That should be this deck. Does it work now? There we go. These opponents have been playing so slow too. Like what's what's going on here? Hmm. 
No attacks. Just not attacking. I was dead if they attacked. All right, I'd just take eight. Like, 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 let's say I block Legion Lieutenant, I take eight damage. And, like, the next turn, Sanctum Seeker kills me. Let's say I block Conquistador, I'm still still taking eight damage. Like, like, no matter what I block, I take eight damage. But now the Sanctum Seeker is dead. So yeah, Throwback Thursday here is about me putting decks together uh, with creatures, or sorry, not creatures, with rares and mythics from the sets that are rotating that didn't get to see much play at all in standard. So this deck, so built this deck with Rowdy Crew in mind. So we have a Rowdy Crew deck here because um, you know Rowdy Crew is a cool card that just didn't really get to see much standard play and. That's what we got here. We got a Rowdy Crew deck. Um, I knew going into this that, like with this deck, I didn't think I was going to beat Vampires. I talked about it at the very beginning of the video, talked about how um, decks that can go under us are going to give us a lot of trouble and that don't make our blocking, um, that don't make blocking too easy for us. We're gonna give us a lot of trouble, and that's exactly what vampires is. So do I want to just get rid of Glow Spore Shaman? So I really should trim Rowdy Crew in this matchup. Okay. Better to lead off with Branch Walker so we, you have more information whenever you remod your Reveler. And obviously we're blocking if they attack. They did not attack. Good thing we didn't block. Plague Mare. That horse is a nightmare. I don't know exactly why, but I know this is pronounced Remadi, but I don't ha I don't have like the explanation of why that is. It's not I I know it's not Rick Smotty, it's Remadi. But the exact 
Y-ness I don't have for you. A619. Should attack this plague my last turn, I guess. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we got really lucky that game with a perfect Plague Mare, perfect Massacre Girl. We're on the draw now. It's going to be a lot harder for us to win, but, you know, it's just one game. Anything can happen. An opponent can mulligan to five. We could get, uh, we could have our cards line up again, just like they just did. Ooh, is it Remadi or is it Remaadi? Maybe it is Maadi. That could be that could be a thing. That could be a thing. That's true. We didn't get lucky. We top decked skillfully. Good at call there. All right. Well, we have a good looking hand. It would look better if we draw a plague mare. Soren's. Soren's a hell of a card. It's a one that's a tough one to beat. You'll be gone in a week or two? No, Joy. No. Don't go. How long are you gonna be gone? The embodiment's been awesome for us. This card has been incredible. It's frequently, you know, like 6-6 six, six bigger flyer. It has been incredible for us. You can see there, it's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. They could sacrifice this Sky Marcher Aspirant to kill the Glow Spore Shaman. I. Make yourself useful. Now embodiments five five. Yeah. No. Ugh. Not at the Evan Legion. You only trade with Knight of the Evan Legion.
You have, you know, three mana, five, five flying death touch. It's pretty nice. This is but a taste of my power. I didn't need to pump that at all. I'm just a waste of three mana. Um, my finality is probably pretty good. Let's keep that. Let's discard these two. Oh, another death touch creature. No, it had because the Soren tick up. The Soren tick up gives a death touch. I'm being the Soren. I would I would like to play I, I would like Izareth to trade with Sky Marcher Aspirant. But if they draw any vampire they can sac they get to sacrifice the vampire to kill the Izareth. I think I'm still willing to, to try that though. Ooh. No vampire, darn it. What is one life to save me? Darn it. I need them to break on a vampire this turn. Pretty bad. Cause if I play the embodiment. I just wanted to kill that. I wanted to be able to block that Sanctum Seeker there with the three three. I want to be able to. I really want to be able to trade there and not trade with Embodiment. I mean, we're just, all they have to do, like, we're at six now. They just sack and then sack with two other zombies or two vampires. This, God, the Soren card is so ridiculously good. I need them to draw nothing but lands for a while. <laughs> for a while. What is 
one life to save many. I need no no vampire. Depart in Estrad immediately. They did not brick. Back to back vampires. Couldn't handle either of them. All right, two and two. Yeah, that was some nice tanking. Took took a while to figure out that line. All right, so our deck our deck was pretty sweet here. Um, you know, we lost the two best decks in the format with Scape Shift and Vampires, but. The only reason why we lost Escape Shift is because I completely, completely threw Game Three. So that was that was really disappointing. Um, but honestly, like Vampires is going to be a tough matchup for us. Uh, it is. Um, we got we went to Game Three against them, you know. So like we lost in three, but no no shame in that. You know, Vampire deck is really really good, and uh, it gets underneath us, but that's okay. Um, as far as this deck, Embodiment of Agonies was awesome. Radiku is good. Cavalier Flames is awesome. I want, um, I want another Embodiment in this deck. Basically, it was, it was just really, really good. I want a fourth one in there. I think just instead of Izareth. Um, I think that's, that's, I think that's just a four of in this deck. That card was just so good for us. Um, but yeah, this, this deck felt pretty strong. It actually, it did feel pretty good. I liked it, uh, you know. Besides the the vampire matchup, but even even the vampire matchup, you know, we played uh, four games there. And if you know, if our opponent didn't draw those last two vampires, you know, if they drew a couple of lands, who knows? Maybe we could have maybe we could have turned the corner. Um, but but anyway. Uh, pretty cool little deck here. I think I'll have to play this one again here, too. I like this. Uh, that's kind of the thing is, like, people will look at 2-2 two and two and think, oh, you know, not that good. But this really should have been 3-1 because I, I just completely threw away that game against Game Shift, Game 3. And then, uh, you know, it's just one loss. Besides that, fun deck to play. Powerful little deck here. Is Rowdy Crew the best? No, not necessarily. Like, does the deck need Rowdy Crew? Not necessarily. You know, we were really like Cavalier Flames, Embodiment of Agonies is like our, our best things there. But Rowdy Crew was good. It was pretty good for us. It wasn't it wasn't bad at all. So good showing there for the Rowdy Crew. All right. Uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck as well. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget in the comments, uh, let me know what cards, what rares or mythics that you want me to build decks around for these Throwback Thursday streams. Because, um, you know, that's what I'm doing here, building around uh, different rares and mythics that are about to rotate out that haven't seen too much standard play, like Rowdy Crew. Um, I already talked about how next week we're going to be building around Admiral Beckett Brass, Muldratha, and Arcades the the three mana legends or the three color um mythics we'll be doing that um but there we go all right uh thanks very much for watching that's it here for john reanimate and i will see you for the next video